Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking time to attend this session. The title of this session is The Road to OpenStack Native Application. Today, I would like to talk about how to build the application after the, after the cloud era. We implemented software called RAC to achieve one of our goals. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce this software. We will have Q&A time after our, after our presentation. So please save your questions till then. Also, all of these slides will be posted on SlideShare after this presentation. Thank you. <laughs> First, let me introduce today's speakers. I'm Tomoaki Nakajima from CTC. I'm the executive project manager of RAC. I will give an introduction and overview of the RAC. The next presenter will be Takehiro Kaneko. He is the chief developer of the RAC project. He is going to give a presentation on the details of RAC architecture, and he will also give a demonstration of RAC. The last presenter is Takashi Tori. He is the chief he is the chief of the testbed working group at Okinawa Open Laboratory. Today, he will speak about the RAC environment testing and also the RAC community building. This slide gives an overview of my company's profile. It's called CTC, and it's based in Tokyo, Japan. CTC is one of the top five well-known companies uh, as an IT system integrator in Japan. Well. Uh, I will not go into details about my company, but if you are interested in knowing more about CTC, please check out this slide later. Here, we see Okinawa Open Laboratory. Our third presenter today, Mr. Tori, works here. Once again, I will not go into details here. Please see the slide later. Okay, let's get started. First, I would like to give a brief introduction and overview of our project. In this session, I will talk about OpenStack Native. It is the theme of this presentation. What exactly do we mean by OpenStack Native? In your opinion, there are two kinds of applications. There, ah, there are two kinds of application design. One is application which has been developed uh, before the cloud era, and the other has been developed since the dawn of the cloud era. The OpenStack native has been developed since the cloud era, and it has been developed. It has been optimized for OpenStack. Before getting into OpenStack native. Let me go over non-OpenStack native applications. When non-OpenStack native applications work on OpenStack environment, they need many other software tools to work efficiently. For example, Chef, Puppet, Surf, uh, and so on. Because these traditional applications were developed before cloud computing and OpenStack appeared in our world. On the other hand, the applications which have been developed post the, post the cloud era, we call OpenStack native, OpenStack native application. And they work on OpenStack directly. They do not require as many software tools as Chef and others that I have just explained in the previous slide. It means the application itself will create and delete resources on OpenStack when necessary. This is, this is very similar to the non-OpenStack native application behavior working dynamically on Linux or Windows. We focused on this analogy and successfully implemented OpenStack native application. And now, I will introduce you to RAC. The RAC word stands for Real Application Centric Kernel. The RAC is software to develop after the cloud era applications. It, it is working on OpenStack. 
The RAC is currently under development on the platform called Stackforge. I will share the organizations of the RAC project. We, CTC, is developing it mainly, and, <coughs> and Okinawa Open Laboratory, Laboratory is supporting us. METI is our sponsor for this project. METI stands for the Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry, which is a significant governmental agency in Japan. And we are able to get many advice from other great technical advisors. Thank you, for, thank you very much for your support. Now, let's move on to the technical part. I will start with the LAC concept. The LAC is designed with reference behavior of a traditional application. The picture shows an example of executing program on the Linux system. This is a traditional application. First, it compiles the source code, creates the executable binary of HTTPD. And in order to create the process on the Linux, it executes HTTPD command with options. The studied process will generate the separated, separate processes on Linux with exec and fork orders. The LAC, repro the LAC reproduces this behavior on, on the OpenStack. Here, we have this diagram, an example of working OpenStack native application with RAC. In order to create an executable binary for the LAC, OS, middleware, library, and program source code have to be compiled and generated as executable binary, which is VM templates. The instances created from the VM template behave like a process when the LAC boots the VM template on OpenStack. The started process will generate the separate processes on OpenStack with exec and fork orders by using own resource. RAC also provides the functionalities, such as shared memory, uh, pipe, file system, and signal. As such, the RAC is so powerful that it makes it possible to use the Linux multiprocessing programming model on OpenStack. What does the RAC innovation make possible for all of you? With RAC, you can build and run a self-directed scaling application easily and simply. That is the OpenStack native, uh, OpenStack native application. And that is the after the, after the cloud era applications. Let me hand over to Mr. Kaneko, the chief developer of the LAC project, who will explain the details of the LAC architecture and give a demonstration. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Hi, I'm Takehiro Kaneko. Uh, I'm the head of uh, LAC development team. So from now, I'd like to present LAC from a technical point of view. So this is the entire LAC architecture. The OpenStack native application runs on OpenStack. Uh, it utilizes LAC to increase the number of processes and share some data among them. Uh, LAC supports a list of four API functions, uh, like other OpenStack components. <coughs> For example, uh, when the application wants to increase the number of processes, uh, it will request the API. And then LAC will call the Nova API. And LAC has a database inside. <coughs> LAC allocates some attributes, uh, such as PID and PPID, to VM. So in order for VM to behave like a Linux process, these attributes will be stored with Nova instance ID uh, in the database. And LAC also provides uh, inter-process communication functions, such as pipe, shared memory, and file system. So um, the client library, a Python LAC client, includes these, functio uh, these functionalities that I just mentioned and API. Python client provides a Python API 
to developers. <coughs> well, I'd like to introduce some sample applications to demonstrate how well the OpenStack native application works. I'll show you two sample applications. The first one is simulation application. This application calculates pi uh, using Monte Carlo method. The second one is a distributed file processing application. A lot of files are processed with multiple processes in parallel. All right, uh, now I'd like to introduce uh, the first one to you. Uh, this is the simulation application uh, using Monte Carlo method. I don't go into so much details of the Monte Carlo method, but the greater the number of trials you run in the simulation, the more accurate pi value you will get. So it takes a lot of time to run many trials in the simulation on a single server, but uh, this application distributes the number of trials to multiple processes and these processes uh, run in parallel. So this parallel processing uh, reduces the actual processing time. And <coughs> Monte Carlo binary, this binary, uh, accepts uh, these options. Number of trials, uh, number of workers, and file path. Actually, uh, this binary is a uh, glance image. When it is launched as a parent, <coughs> uh, first, it forks as many times as the number of workers specified as the option. For example, uh, <coughs> if the number of workers is set to 100, uh, the, parent, the parent forks uh, 100 children processes. As the simulation is actually run by children processes, the parent waits for children's outputs. At the end, the parent collects the outputs and makes the simulation report. Uh, on the other hand, if this binary is launched as a child, <coughs> uh, it runs trials for a specified number of trial uh, times and sends a result to the parent. <coughs> So you can execute this application uh, via command line. So rack process create command uh, is a shell command provided by uh, Python rack client. You run this command with necessary options. And once you uh, run this command, uh, all you have to do is just wait for the output. This application finally outputs the report uh, like this. Uh, in this report, uh, the calculated pi value, the actual pi value, and the execution time are recorded. So let's move on to the demonstration. I wrote a movie of the Monte Carlo application. So on left side, uh, this is Ryzen, as you know. And there is a lag server and on this network. This is a lag server. And this accepts fork requests and provides uh, inter-process communication support for processes. And processes will also connect to this network. <coughs> and so on the right side, this console displays the current number of processes. <coughs> and this number goes up while the application is being executed. So let's start the movie. So run process uh, create command in this console, and, the, and then the PRM process uh, will be launched. So as you can see, the PRM process is launching now. <coughs> so once it starts running the parent job, then the children processes uh, will be launched. So this is the parent process, and as you can see, the children processes are launching now. So in this demonstration, uh, 60 children will be launched, 
So as you can see, this number is increasing. And this console shows the process tree. The top line is the uh, parent process, and these are the children processes. So you can see the process name and status and options from here. So when children processes have launched, uh, they start running the simulation. So just now, these processes are running in parallel. And when they finish the simulation, they send the result to the parent process. So now, all these processes are running in parallel. And the parent process receives outputs from the children processes and creates a simulation report. And at the end, the parent process kills itself. And at the same time, the children processes also will be terminated. So as you can see, the process uh, being deleted now. In this case, uh, all of the processes uh, will be deleted. So this movie is finished. Uh, I'll show you the details on how this application works in the next slide. <coughs> so first of all, uh, run lack process create command with some options. And then the parent process will be deployed from the Monte Carlo binary. At first, the parent process calculates the number of trials that is uh, distributed to each child process. And it forks as many times as the number of workers specified as the option. So actually, the fork means calling a RAC API. And the parent process forks the option, the calculated number of trials. And then the children processes will be deployed from the same binary as the parent uh, process. So each child process runs in parallel after the simulation has started. <coughs> So when the children processes uh, finish the simulation, they will send the result to the parent process. So pipe is very useful to do this. You can use this pipe, like Unix pipe. The children processes uh, write the result to the pipe, and then parent process reads the pipe to collect children's outputs. So after the parent process gathers the result from the children processes, uh, it makes the report and stores it to the file system. So file system is one of the lax functions. So the entire simulation uh, finishes at this point. <coughs> As I mentioned, the parent process kills itself, and it means uh, calling the lack API. So RAC tries, uh, tries to search the parent, sorry. Uh, RAC tries to search the uh, process tree and deletes all the descendant processes recursively. So in this case, all the these processes will be terminated. So this is a whole logic of how this application works. So it wasn't clear enough to see how the app processes communicate with each other inside the application in the movie. So with the luck, uh, you are able to develop an application like this very easily. So uh, I'd like to explain lack client in more detail. Lack client is a necessity tool for developing OpenStack native application. OpenStack native application is written in the Python code, like this example. So you don't need to use any other automation tool. So once you import RAC client, you can get process attributes such as PID and PPID from the metadata server. So these attributes are stored in this variable, 
So here, PCTXT. So if a process has PPID, it is a child process. And it behaves as a child process. And so you can use the fork method provided by the client to launch a child process. So this is a fork method. So when the fork is called, a rack launches a child process. So in this example, the image ID and the network ID are not specified, but rack will provide the same attributes as the parent process to the children process. So as you can see, uh, developers are not required to consider infrastructure during the coding. So this is an advantage of making VMs uh, handle like Linux process. And we can understand RAC architecture through Linux architecture as a reference. So we got, uh, we got the idea of pipe and shared memory from Linux architecture. So let's move on to the next application. This application processes a large amount of files with multiple processes in parallel. <coughs> so this application distributes a job to multiple processes in the same way as Monte Carlo application to shorten the processing time. This binary accepts these four options. The first one is a shell command. This application uses the shell command to process files. The second one is the number of clusters. You can specify the number of clusters running in parallel. The rest of the options are directory path of input and output. Uh, input and output files. So this application gets files from the file system provided by LAC, and also outputs the result files to the directory specified as the option. So when this binary is uh, launched as a parent, <coughs> so the parent passes the specified shell command, and then the parent uh, will fork. <coughs> The parent process only waits for the children processes to finish their jobs. On the other hand, when this binary is launched as a child, it gets filed to the process. To the process, no. And executes the shell command. The result files will be stored on the file system. So to execute this application. You just run a lack, uh, lack process create command with the binary name and options in the same way as Monte Carlo application. In the option called command, you can specify the shell command like this. So first of all, uh, lack process create command with the option like this. When the parent process is launched, it calculates the number of children processes, determines files, and provides to them, and forks. So this slide shows the deployment of the children processes. In this example, a process that executes grep command and a process that executes set command are connected via the pipe. So like this. So let's call this a cluster. So three clusters are deployed in this example. So it's like running a shell command like this. So each cluster runs in parallel and processes a large number of files stored in the file system at high speed. The grep process gets input to files and executes a grep command. The result will be redirected to the set process via, uh, via pipe. The set process receives the result of grep process and executes set command. At last, set the process outputs the result and stores it to the file system. So 
When all input files are processed, the parent process kills itself. A LAC API terminates all the descendant processes recursively, as I mentioned before. So as a result, all processes will be terminated. So that is how this application works. This is a very good and simple example of an application that makes a lot of processes communicate with each other via a pipe. So finally, I'd like to explain the performance of OpenStack native application. This is one of the most important points what I'd like to tell you. So please look at this graph. This graph shows the performance of Monte Carlo application, the first sample application I introduced to you. The horizontal axis represents the number of trials and the number of processes in each simulation. So the number increases to the right on the graph. And the red line shows the execution time. So the graph on the left shows the change of the execution time on a single server. So as application resource is uh, limited, the execution time increases with increasing the number of trials. On the other hand, in the case of OpenStack native application here, the execution time remains the same even if the number of trials increases because the application will scale out the number of servers accordingly. In addition, if you increase the number of servers while keeping the number of trials the same, the execution time could be shortened. So LAC makes it possible for you to develop such a high performance application very easily. So to conclude my presentation, I'd like to sum up now. So what does the LAC innovation make possible for all of you? So with LAC, you can build and run a self-directed scaling application very easily and simply. So that is the OpenStack native application. So the last session is presented by Mr. Tori. Uh, he will talk about test suites of LAC and OpenStack native application and community building for LAC. So Mr. Tori, please go ahead. Uh, so th thank you for attending the session. Yeah, that is the last summit, uh, last session and the last speaker. So last 10 minutes, uh, please relax. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is not a technical uh, speaking. So just an uh, uh, introduction about test bed and uh, test suite for uh, OpenStack native applications and some introduction to community building. Uh, and now I'm, uh, we are planning. So, okay. Uh, Firstly, I introduced uh, Okina Open Lab uh, for uh, uh, just a minute. Uh, Okina is a uh, South Island located in Japan and a very beautiful sea, very beautiful island, and uh, very type, many types of uh, uh, beach. And uh, we are now uh, uh, Okinawa government prefecture founded the Okinawa Open Lab that uh, mainly uh, focused on the cloud and cloud are mainly open stack and uh, SDN. Uh, <coughs> in this Okinawa Open Lab, we are developing and uh, made, uh, uh, evaluating the, uh, and simulating the uh, new technologies of uh, mainly for open stack and SDN. And, uh, 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 creating the new ecosystem the, from the Okinawa. The, the Okinawa, uh, <coughs> so, and uh, we are just uh, working about the test bed or for uh, uh, about two years. And so, uh, this is uh, our test bed concept that is a software defined DevOps platform. <laughs>
sorry, sorry. Yeah? Danke. Ja. Uh, yeah, we are using the cloud shell that is a product of a core system of lab, lab op operating and uh, uh, automated uh, software. Uh, and we are creating the uh, various type of uh, uh, driver for uh, cloud shell. Uh, Right side, it's the left side. Uh, uh, we are uh, by our test bed. User can create the hardware topology uh, and. Uh, uh, next, uh, select the orchestrator and OpenStack deployment automatically and create the. Uh, in this uh, use case, we are creating the service chain coordinator that uh, orchestrate the service chain uh, on the, our test bed and uh, using the BIAT or some uh, one accelerator, a firewall. Uh, that we are including the, uh, the automatically deploy the uh, virtual networking functions. And uh, uh, finally, the test auto, auto test scenario uh, is b made by the XCR for uh, 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 automatically uh, conducted the test scenario from the cloud shell. So, <coughs> uh, in the test bed, we uh, lack OpenStack native application have potential potentially to uh, uh, new innovation for. Uh, uh, so I started, uh, uh, we are now committing, communicating with CTC people uh, to create the ecosystem of OpenStack native applications. Uh, <coughs> as previously explained uh, by the Kaneko-san and Nakajima-san, uh, OpenStack, uh, <coughs> OpenStack native application is a platform for uh, the platform for uh, uh, applications. Uh, uh, platform is very important for uh, uh, making the system and the infra infrastructure, uh, but only the platform user cannot use it. Uh, the important point is make developing the applications and making the uh, uh, system from by the OpenStack native applications uh, by the rack. So. Uh, the important point is uh, we uh, creating the ecosystem, and uh, many people have uh, joined the ecosystem and creating the applications and uh, uh, using you uh, create uh, join the users for um, the using the applications. So. Uh, I introduce the test suite of RAC. Uh, user can uh, create the RAC system by step by step by our uh, test bed. So at first, uh, user can select the hardware and the topologies uh, by our cloud shell uh, design, design. And the uh, next step is auto deployment of OpenStack and uh, RAC, uh, auto configuration. And the final step is all the testing of sample applications. <coughs> that is a very easy and fast and convenient for our users. So uh, in our test bed, we have various type of hardware, uh, uh, like, uh, <coughs> like servers, open for switches, etc. cetera. Uh, but we think the, uh, to test the OpenStack native applications, we choose the C-Micro servers. Uh, C-Micro servers is a high-density server uh, that includes 64 servers in, in one chassis. One chassis is about 10 units. So, uh, and inside the chassis, server are connected with the fabric, and the fabric has a, a high uh, throughput. So, uh, <coughs> And the topology, uh, topologies of a fabric is uh, controlled by the RESTful API from the outside. And uh, CMicro has making a driver for Ironic or controlling the topology of the uh, inside the chassis. So uh, we are thinking about uh, what uh, hardware is fitted to the rack. Uh, uh, rack uh, <coughs> down to the many virtual machines in, in the System so uh, and connecting to each other so we are that uh, hardware is very fitted for the uh, uh, rack. So uh, in next 
movie, the, we are creating the two uh, models of uh, lux simulation. Uh, one is uh, using the 11, 11 node, 11 node, this 11 node, and one node is uh, for uh, controlling, and the 10 node for compute node. And the second model is uh, only the two servers, that is one controlling node and one compute node. And uh, uh, run the sample application that is uh, just introduced from the Kaneko and the Monte Carlo about the pi, pi calculations. And uh, com compare the, uh, how, what the performance of, uh, uh, is uh, different in these two models. So just started the movie. Uh, this uh, uh, GUI is a uh, crowd share that is uh, uh, similar to uh, Juju or other uh, GUI. Uh, that, uh, this is an uh, urban servers uh, connected uh, by the uh, one switches that is uh, worked in layer two switches. <coughs> and in our RAC, uh, we create a command for RAC auto deployment. So uh, in this command, the uh, uh, user can uh, manually I I insert the uh, parameters for uh, this each uh, parameters. But uh, today, the way uh, automatically uh, inserted from the uh, OpenStack uh, configuration to uh, the default value. So we are only uh, button of a run and uh, by uh just starting the uh launching the lock environment uh these two vm are uh, lock api vm and lock pro proxy vm and in just prepared for uh, lock uh, sample applications and uh, we are prepared uh, just uh, configure the another two server model this is two server model and this is our uh, OpenStack <laughs> horizon. And this is the working topology. And uh, uh, just yeah, sp skip the uh, two server models and uh, configure configuration of RAC. And in right side, uh, two server and the uh, two server model, and the left side, the uh, uh, urban server model. And the uh, left side of the window is a CPU uh, indicator, indicator of CPU load. So I. <laughs> Just uh, uh, I, uh, speed up. How to speed up? <laughs> Wait a minute, please. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Just wait. I mean, that in the this uh, just a repeat. Black uh, <laughs> API and the proxy VM have launched it, and uh, uh, next is the two server model uh, launches. Uh, this uh, automatically connect to the web API that the horizon, and uh, just started the. Uh, or uh, lack a sample applications command line appears. Yeah, then this we yeah, uh, just conducted the command of uh, lack sample applications. So uh, uh, we are just VM uh, have launched. Uh, uh, right side is only. Maybe five uh, five VM and this is a uh, right side is a five VM and the uh, left side is a twenty VM are launched automatically by the RAC API RAC RAC and uh, uh, CPU load is rising increasing and uh, two two node model have uh, more CPU load because of uh, VM number uh, for uh, physical node is bigger than 11 node. And uh, so for uh, 
uh, I have a short time that because uh, uh, so I skipped the uh, 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 learning time of a uh, command. But the result, uh, just small, but uh, uh, in two node model, uh, it's time consumed uh, 400 seconds. And uh, by 11 nodes, just uh, 250 seconds. And uh, this is a uh, uh, reason of uh, this reason is a VM uh, uh, number worker has small in two nodes and uh, CPU load is bigger than uh, eleven node. And uh, this is a uh, one example of uh, uh, our uh, model of a uh, uh, model. That's an example. So uh, user can. Uh, Easily select the hardware and the topology for testing the rack and the hardware resources. Uh, it's very useful for users for testing the uh, rack applications. So finally, we are last topic: the community building. Uh, we think the community building is a big challenge for us because uh, in, from Japan, the open source. Uh, making the open source community for global is very a few cases a success. So, uh, but the, uh, uh, so we are trying to this uh, to, uh, community building. Uh, the, uh, we are now making writing the docs uh, because open stack native applications uh, uh, concept is not so common. So and we uh, we have to write a document to uh, understand the concept and the use case and the usage of uh, open stack native applications. And uh, we uh, also planning the meetup and the hands on uh, to uh, making the community more bigger. And we also uh, test it developed uh, just introduced. <coughs> so time is. And uh, our goal of becoming the OpenStack Incubation Project, uh, we are jointly developed the uh, uh, community to uh, to with or go by. And uh, uh, this is a uh, our web page of a uh, uh, rack. Now uh, source code is opened in the Stackforge. Uh, we are now making the docs. Of, um, uh, 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 of course, in English. And so uh, we are pre I'm very uh, happy to be more people joined our, our community. Thank you.